What do you expect to hear later today? Um, and well, I won't make it a multi-part question. What, what, what's your expectation? I think we get 25, and then the question is, what do they say from there? Which. You know, I do think they'll say things aren't as bad as everybody expects. Right. So we're watching. The so is data. that good news or bad? Is that good news, bad news, or is that bad? The, if they go that way, right. I think that's more the market will perceive it as bad news because they're probably going to think that 25 and done. So you want them to say that eh, maybe things are not as great as we want them to be. I actually want them to say what the truth is. <laughs> you know, I, I think the reality is like we need people to tell us what's really going on as opposed to trying see where you think the market's going to do because whatever they think the market's going to do something right. else is going to come come effect. I mean look at oil this weekend there are always these uncertainties going on but I think getting real data and real facts would be really important. You know what I worry about with lower rates and, and rates going lower I worry about people disregarding risk and that's scary and that's how you get in trouble. So talking about risk and I don't know if you can speak to this we were talking. Mike, what do you think? Obviously, that's always a concern, but, you know, we got a, a quarter-point rate cut in July, and the market did not take it as an excuse to add more risk. Actually, it backed off pretty hard. And so it seems as if yeah, it's not the cost of money right now that's necessarily the, the, the trigger for whether people are going to get reckless and speculative about it. Look at how big private equity is today sure. overall. That's all interest rate related. Yeah. All interest interest rate related. Look, and, and balance all sheets. I'm saying is... I hope people are mindful, okay, that when you borrow money, at yeah. some point you right. got to pay well, it look, back. Look, there's a group on the Fed that's making that exact point, and that's why they voted against the rate cut in July, and it's probably going to happen again. Speculate, though, in terms of what we hear from Powell and what you think. And the same question, really, yeah. that, I, that Sriracha spoke to, this issue of what the market needs to hear for it to go higher and what, will, what could result in it going lower. The pattern is the market it wants to push for a little bit more and more clarity that we're going to get more. And I, right. honestly, I think the instinct uh, for Powell is going to be to preserve flexibility and right. not necessarily – because what's happened since the last meeting in terms of their major inputs, the U.S. economy has shown itself to be on firmer footing. Right. Uh, inflation ticked up a little bit. The yield curve we were so concerned about is actually slightly uninverted again. So there, there are a lot of these things that you thought, well, it's a no-brainer. They have to go two right. more times. But they're also not going to close the door. They're still in this mode of saying what we're doing now is about sustaining the expansion, not necessarily rescuing an economy that needs to be rescued. And I think the technical factor, I know it doesn't mean much, but the yield curve just – when you look at it from the outside, if it inverts, it just causes the algos to start right. selling. So that, that just has okay, a... Talking about technical factors, what was your reaction to what took place in the short-term repo market yesterday morning, the rescue effort that the New York Fed it took on? Right. I mean, it was a little delayed in the terms of what happened, but I think it's important that they do those things. That's kind of what you want them to be there as a backstop to if things happen in the economy and things are bad. So I think that's – liquidity is important. Right. To Ken's point – Is that a blip or is that going to be a signal that we're going to – we're going to look at that and say this was just a weird technical thing and, no, and we'll forget about it? Or when people write history – Three, four years from now, to the extent there's a problem, we're going to look back at that as some kind of precursor. It's a mo I think it's a mostly technical thing. Right. It's you a know. clog in the plumbing in the short end, but it's related to real things, okay. which is massive Treasury issuance is, is ba packing bank balance sheets. There's more collateral out there than there's cash to serve it. And that's really the, the, the main cause. And banks are a little bit constrained in terms of how they can make markets in this stuff uh, and I, lend cash. Uh, in I would markets. feel a little better if the people in that room, some of them, had some practical business experience. Uh, they're academics. Well, Jay okay. Powell had some practice, practical business experience. Some. I'm talking about people that have, understand how it works every day. And I, what, what worries me is at some point we're going to have to pay. We're going to have to pay for the freedom that we have in, in borrowing money because people think if it's that cheap, I never have to give it back. And, and the offset is when you start raising again, the negative shocks that come with that. I mean, we're so low as it is. I just don't think you go lower and people are going to borrow more. It's already really low. But low compared to what? We're going to go down today but to just under 2% on the short right. end. That's one of the highest interest rates in the world right now. <laughs> right? So that's the world we're in. Right. Are you looking around the globe or are you looking it, historically? Right. Rel the... Relative to where we are, it's very low relative to the rest of the world. Right. But then also we have much stronger growth in the rest of the world and we have a currency that's not, you know, depreciating. We have much stronger growth, but we all of a sudden got a growth scare as soon as real interest rates got above zero. Right. right? So how strong are we really in terms of momentum? We don't know.